Now we also have these selection tools that you can use with the blue screened image. So if we click onto this one, this is a, a rectangle select, or you've also got a lasso select so you can select an arbitrary shape, or a magic wand so it will select areas of light colour. Now I'm just going to use the rectangle select to start with to draw a selection rectangle around my man. And now you see I've got these transform tools. I can click and drag and I can move them around. I can select this and that allows me, sorry, click this button and that allows you to transform your selected area. So by, with that on, I can now click and drag to, to move him around. I'll go on these corners and resize him and put him wherever I want him to go. You can also flip him from side to side like this. And copy and paste. Now, as we can see in the timeline, this has all happened to just one frame, so that's going to spoil our animation rather. So I'm going to undo that, all of those stages, and get him back to where he was before. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all the frames in my film, turn on multi-edit mode, and now when I use the selection tool, so I'm going to draw a big rectangle around here, I'll turn on the transform, I'll resize him a bit, I'll tuck him over here in the corner, and then we'll deselect. And when we deselect, Zoo3D applies that, that transform that we've just done to all the frames in our film. Now what we could also do, the same idea, so multi-edit mode still on, I'll select my man again, and now I'm going to copy, so you could either right-click, copy, or press the copy button over here. And because multi-edit mode is on, it's copied that same section of the frame across all the frames that are selected. So now when we paste, it's going to paste on every single frame. So we position this where we want it to be, and then we deselect, and now that man gets pasted on every frame in our animation. So now we've got two aliens. I'm just going to copy and paste this clip to make it a bit longer so we've got a slightly more impressive film. So I'm going to copy and paste the background, and I'm going to copy and paste our now two alien men. And uh, we can select we can select this middle clip and reverse it, so it's a nice smooth transform. And there we go again. This is just showing us the original live image from our camera.